Hey everyone, this is Big Mike, and it is a sad, sad day for the MCU. So reports came out just maybe about an hour ago that the Sony and Disney partnership has broken down. Possibly, possibly even ended. Uh, this is reportedly that Sony has backed out because they couldn't come to another agreement. Um, basically, <clears throat> what Marvel Studios wants Disney they want 50% uh, profits, you know, the future Spider-Man movies from the franchise. So apparently Sony didn't want that to happen. They don't want the 50%. They want, you know, more money, of course. And I, I, I'm I, pretty sure because they were emboldened by Venom doing very well, you know, in theaters and it had good fan reception. So I think they kind of feel like they can do their own thing, like bring Spider-Man back introduce him with like, you know, their, their upcoming Morbius film, Venom and everything like that, and just have their own spider universe like they used to outside of the MCU. I have a huge problem with that. First of all, Spider-Man Far From Home was Sony's biggest, biggest Spider-Man movie. I, no, their biggest movie ever. They made the most money out of any movie they've ever produced. That has everything to do with Kevin Feige and the MCU. Um, you know, the ties with Infinity War, the ties with Endgame, um, you know, the aftermath of that, it being the, the next movie after um, Endgame, like right after Endgame, it's uh, it, it, Peter's, you know, impact and what he had to go through with losing his mentor, Tony Stark. I mean, all of those things attributed to Spider-Man Far From Home being Sony's biggest movie ever. So with that said, why would you walk away from a deal like that and expect to have the same success? I, for one, don't believe they're gonna have the same success with their own Spider-Man universe not integrated in the MCU. You have so much more possibilities. Think about it. The MCU at this point is groundbreaking. It's done things that no other movie franchise has ever done. It's made, so, I mean, so much money, it's ridiculous. I think this year, for Disney alone, like the MCU movies have made, I think I read something around like $5 billion, like if not more than that. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. So it's, on a, it's on a ridiculous scale. So I really think Sony's got a bad idea here, you know, saying, hey, we're just going to pull Spider-Man back. You know, we're not, we're not going to let you guys use them anymore. I really believe that what they should do is come with a better partnership, you know, with Marvel Studios, seeing how big it's become, how they've never been able to sell the character as well. I mean, any movie really as well as they have having Spider-Man in the MCU. I think this is a huge, huge mistake on Sony's part. Now, I d it's not final yet. Right now, they've Sony have walked away from talks. Now, they have done that before. They've walked away from talks before. They've came back. They've come to a deal. I really think that Disney and Marvel Studios should consider, you know, even like a, I don't know, 40, 60, 30, 70, you know, something to where they give them a little more to say, look, we really need Spider-Man. I believe MCU really benefits from having Spider-Man. Spider-Man is kind of the face of Marvel. Always have been his face of Marvel. Like, to me, if you think about DC Comics, I mean, number one and number two, you think about, you know, if you're not thinking about Superman first, you're thinking about Batman. You know, so it's like, in DC, it's like not having one of those two characters. In Marvel, you know, even before the pre-MCU, if you thought of Marvel Comics, you immediately thought of Spider-Man. Spider-Man is a huge part of... Marvel Comics should should very rightly be in the MCU. So I really hope that Marvel Studios and Disney and Sony can actually come up with a deal. And hopefully this isn't like the last we hear of it. And that Sony's just like, you know what? We're, you know, wiping our hands of this or washing our hands of this. And we're not going to, you know, have this partnership anymore. I really think it's gonna hurt both parties, but I think it's gonna hurt Sony even more because Marvel Studios has established this powerhouse that Sony themselves are not gonna be able to even compete with, let alone beat. So if you can't beat them, join them. That's usually how it goes. 
So I really think Sony needs to reconsider even, you know, Marvel Studios, Disney may need to reconsider the 50-50 thing, maybe even give Sony a little bit more just so they can keep Spider-Man in the MCU. So what do you think about this news? Let me hear what you got to think. Drop your comments in the uh, below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications on my latest content. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.